planet Earth. A planet of ridiculous behavior by those in power. With events spiraling out of control, experts agree the end of the world as we know it is amongst us. In response, we at LI News Today have sought out a reporter with credibility. A reporter with courage, not afraid to tackle the issues important to the average citizen. This is Andrea Fasano, and she is here to warn us that the end is near. Hi, I'm Andrea Fasano, and welcome to this week's version of The End is Near. Stories from this past week bringing us one step closer to the end of the world. <laughs> Our opening story breaks the hearts and stomachs of fast food junkies all over the Northeast area. Taco Bell was closed. <coughs> Green onions, part of such favorites as cheesy Fiesta potatoes and Mexi melts, were found to be carrying the bacteria E. coli. <coughs> I don't know what they're talking about. This stuff's just too good to have a problem with it. Anyway, in other news, scientists just found running water in a crater on Mars. Now, since it so closely resembles the Earth's surface, scientists have decided to combine the names and call it Mirth. Ow. Oh, I don't really feel too well. And it's not because of... Who's in the news again? Freedom! Yep, it's Mel. Yeah, his long awaited, I don't know by who, but uh, his long awaited movie Apocalypto was released in theaters this week. And uh, since our producer is so obsessed with him, we have to, are forced to show you this clip. <laughs> I came back home to raise crops and God willing, a family. I love you. Always have. I want a home and children. It's all for nothing if you don't have freedom. so gross. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, our clip of the week once again surrounds our favorite group, nerds. But this time it's about two men who run a show called Tech TV and they're making fun of a father who's complaining about his son who's a computer hacker. Ironic, isn't it? <coughs> <laughs> Let's check in with Marty Sergeant. Time for the site of today. Thank you, Leo. You probably consider yourself at home a good parent. You encourage your children to participate in team sports. You attend your teenager's parties to ensure there's no alcohol on the premises. You monitor their musical tastes and television watching. You think you're making all the right moves, but how can you be sure that your son or daughter is not a computer hacker? You're such a narc. Well, Leo, at adequacy.org, <laughs> you're going to find a frank discussion of one man's harrowing battle. Oh, please. With his son, the computer hacker. Okay. Listen to this. When Peter began to spend whole days on the machine, I became concerned, but Carol advised me to calm down. And that was only a passing phase. I was content to bond her experience as a mother, but then our youngest, Cindy, charged in the living room night to blurt out, Peter is a computer hacker. Yeah. Can you imagine? Now, he's got ten warning signs about how you can determine what if... What are those? Number one, has your son asked you to change ISPs? If he wants to get away from oh. AOL, for example, move over to one of those hacker ISPs. Uh -huh. Are you finding programs on your computer that you don't remember installing? Mm. Popular hacker software includes Comet Cursor, Bonzi Buddy, and Flash. No, he you doesn't say that, does yes, he? Yes, he does. Has Who your child asked for new hardware? 
New hardware? Bonzi Buddy. Oh, I'm going to hack with Bonzi Buddy. Your son has requested a new processor from a company called AMD. This is a genuine cause for alarm. Oh, this is a joke. <laughs> this is a joke. I don't know. Can't tell. Does your child read hacking got... manuals? Yes. How much time does your child spend using the computer each day? Well, more does than an hour. Does, does your son use Quake? Quake is an online virtual reality used by hackers. Leo, is your son becoming <laughs> argumentative and surly in his social behavior? What do you mean? Is your son obsessed with Lunix? Lunix? Lunix. Lunix. Right I'm obsessed with it. It's an illegal hacker operating system. It, it says it right there. Lunix is an illegal hacker. What? Is, Lunix is an illegal hacker operating system. Has your son radically changed his appearance? And finally, is your son struggling academically? I just hope that all you people are. I mean, it, it, I'm glad you did that. It's not too service. late. What a public service. It's not too late to nip this in the bud, You people. have done a public service. Oh, what a loser. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Andrea Fasano.